Hi, my name is Aubrey, and thank you for joining us for th- us for this week's Hill TV episode. If it's happening at Hill, we have it. Let's find out about the upcoming lunch menu from Ava. For this week's lunch menu, on Monday we have chicken nuggets with with a mini pretzel or assorted deli. Then on Tuesday we have a Philly cheese stick or assorted deli. Then on Wednesday we have a cheese pizza or pepperoni pizza. Then on Thursday we have a chicken patty sandwich. Finally on Friday we have macaroni and cheese or bread of fish fish sandwich. Coming up, we have Eva with the weather. The upcoming weather is looking like it will have a lot of rain or snow coming up. We we start the week on with with rain and snow, and we will end the week the same. Tuesday and Wednesday look like they might be the only days that will not have rain or snow. The warmest day next week will be on Friday with a high temperature of 47. The coldest day looks like it will be on Tuesday with a high temperature of only 34 degrees. Thursday through Sunday, every day will be, will have either rain or snow, depending on if it is cold enough to have snow. Overall, it looks like pretty gloomy it looks like a pretty gloomy week. Hopefully, it starts to warm up soon. Now, back to the studio. To hey, it's Ara here with a contest for all of the artists in the Hill School. Seymour Library is having its 14th annual design a bookmark contest. All you need to do is design and color a bookmark and either give it to Mrs. Mangan or Mrs. Krang in the library or take it directly to the Seymour Library. There will be one grand prize winner that will receive a gift card to Love Bridge Bookshop, but every student that enters will receive a book donated by the Kiwanis Club of Brockport. Deadline for the entries to be dropped off at the Hill School Library will be Thursday, March 24th. You can take it to the Seymour Library by Saturday, March 26th. Pick up your entry form from the library today. Now to Lila with this week's staff pick. Hi, Hill School. It's Lila, and I'm here with this week's teacher spotlight, Miss Rezzy. Let's find out more about this legend of the Hill School. Why did you want to teach at Hill? Why do you want to teach at Hill? Well, the people here are fabulous. I student taught here, and um, it's the only job I could get. <laughs> what is the best thing about the Blue Wing? The Blue Wing? Oh, everyone here is so nice. The whole school is nice. But the blue wing is a little special, but that's because Mrs. Cintron and Mrs. Mergillo are here. <laughs> what did you used to do before teaching? Oh, I was in the United States Air Force for six years, and I worked for Xerox for six or eight years, six to eight years. Okay. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is Wednesday Wars. Love that book. All about my generation. What is your favorite snack? My favorite Cheetos, but don't tell anybody. I love Cheetos. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Rez. I bet these fourth graders would love to be in your class next year. Now let's find out about an important person in women's history. March is Women's History Month, so we would like to recognize Clara Barton. Clara was an American nurse who founded the American Red Cross. She was a hospital nurse during the Civil War. Since nursing education was not very formal, she did not attend nursing school and provided self-taught care. She actually began be, began as a teacher but quit teaching because a male teacher was hired for twice what she was being paid saying that she would not stand for being paid less than a man doing for doing the same job during the civil war she was at every major battle in Maryland Virginia and South Carolina tending to the wounded she became known as the angel of the battlefield after founding the Red Cross. She continued to help the homeless, poor, and aiding with disasters. Clara was an outstanding American who that truly cared about others. Catherine now, here in the Yellow Wing with Rose and Aaliyah. This is the first ever this or that. All you have to do is pick one of the two choices. Really easy. Ready? Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Coke. Taco or mac and cheese? Mac and cheese. Taco. P.E. or music? P.E. P.E. Sweatpants or jeans? Sweatpants. Sweatpants. Now for the last this or that. Chips Ahoy or Oreos? Oreos. Oreos. 
Thank you for participating now into Zoe with this week's Student Spotlight. Hey, Zoe here to tell you about this week's Student Spotlight. I'm going to be talking about Jacob Mark from Mrs. Howard's class. Jacob is a great student and is always persevering during things that are hard. He is extremely helpful around the classroom. He works very hard and always showing a positive attitude. Mrs. Howard told us that when they have to do something challenging, Jacob is the first one to say that we can do it and is excited to take on the challenge. Thank you, Jacob, for being a great Hill Hawk. Now on to Allie in the now on to Allie with the live look in the creepy attic. Allie up here in the attic, and to be honest, I thought it was going to be a little more spooky up here. I know that I've heard rumors that it used to be the Purple Wing until Strange Activity shut it down, and they were told to stop all classes, and it was abandoned. I also heard that there are ghosts up here, or it was where they took, they used to take children who got into big trouble. Looks like to me looks to me like it's just storage, but let's investigate a little more. Alright. Okay, I don't know what the heck that was. But looks like there's some pioneer stuff up here. Um there's a desk. Weird looking stuffed animals. I don't know what the heck that is, but um like yeah. And ooh, these All right, well, um, yeah, and let's go investigate back here, because I think it'd be, okay, really, what was that? <coughs> We're here to finish, um, up this, Hill, or this week's Hill TV episode with some jokes. Um, I'm here with Jacob, and, um, yeah. So, what do you call a rabbit with fleas? What? A bug's bunny. <laughs> Name a bow that can't be tied. I don't know. A rainbow. What's a baby chick's favorite vegetable? What? A, an eggplant. <laughs> and that's all for today.